going on my true troopers gang gang hey guys so hope all you guys are doing well um so tonight i'm coming to you all with a new video vlog um so what i'm going to do tonight i'm going to do it's going to be um 80s theme tv shows All right, so before I get into this video though, guys, I want to take this time to thank all of you who have, who are supporting me, who continue to support me, who continue to watch my videos, who continue to share my videos. For those of you out there who are new to my channel, please make sure that you take the time out to like my videos, subscribe to my channel, share my videos, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to like comment and subscribe okay guys so please don't forget to do that and again if you like my videos please make sure that you're hitting that like button that like button that's right there just hit on that like button and if you like my videos a lot and like watching me and seeing what I'm out here doing please Hit that subscribe button, guys. Definitely do that. All right, guys. So we're going to get into this video. So how it's going to work is, is that I'm going to go ahead and I have 10. So we're going to do 10 theme songs. I'm going to come, I'm not come, just kind of like give a couple facts out about that show. The theme is 80s. So we're going back to the 80s. And we're going to do 80s theme songs, plus a couple facts from there. Um, also, guys, if you have anything that you'd like to see me do, please make sure that you comment down below and let me know what you'd like to see me do. If there's any, like, challenges, challenges if you have any pranks I can try and do, um, any story times, whatever it is, please definitely make sure to drop a comment down below. Please don't be scared to do that. Just drop a comment down below, guys, and we can go from there. All right, so, okay, first one, let me get my phone, can you all see my pineapple, okay. <laughs> all right, so give me a second here, okay, let's see what we got, okay, so the first one we're going to, we're going to take a look at the Facts of Life theme songs, and then we're going to, like, a couple facts from there, all right. So here we go. If you know the song, please sing along. Hang them on and then you have the facts of life. The facts of life. There's a time you want to go and show you through and now you know about the facts of life. The facts of life. When the world never seems to be living. Oh my God, my voice. But tell me this show from the 80s was not the best show. How many of you out there watched the show when it came on? If you haven't, how many of you have watched it recently on YouTube or any other channel? Good show. Alright, so... That was the first one. It was the facts of life. So, the facts of life. I'm trying to think. I'm gonna think like, what was when the facts of life? It was night. The facts of life first aired. And don't quote me because I could be wrong. But I'm guessing. I, I'm not guessing. I think it was 19 1987. It was 1987 for the facts of life. I do have facts somewhere. Let me just check my facts list to make sure that I'm right about the facts of life. Facts of life, facts of life, facts of life. That's so funny because that's the only one that I did not write down to see <laughs> if I have it. But I believe it was 1987 is when the facts of life had their first episode. And then another fact with that is in the first episode molly ringwall from all of the original 80s movies she was actually um 
was it 80? I think 87. If anybody knows the actual date when the first, when it was first aired, please definitely drop down below. I want to say 87, but it might not have been 87 because I feel like it was before 87 because Molly Ringo was a little bit younger there, but and she was in the, she was in that show first. She was one of, she, they were going to put her as one of the main girls, but it just didn't work out. Um, and I also believe that it wasn't Mrs. Garrett, it was someone else that was Mrs. Garrett, but was not the original Mrs. Garrett. Um, and if you guys did not know, Mrs. the lady who played Mrs. Garrett, Charlotte Ray, I believe but she's not alive anymore. Excuse me, she is from Minnesota. Okay. All right, so that is the facts of life. The second one we have here, the second one I was telling you, when I was actually looking for my top 10, like listening to the second uh, one that I'm gonna play, I got goosebumps because I really like that show a lot. And here it goes. The second one is Silver Spoons. So here's the Silver Spoons theme song. Here we are, face to face, a couple of silver spoons. Making it go, making it go together. Ricky Schroeder, who didn't love him? He was so cute. Together. He kind of made this show. Actually, he didn't kind of make sure he did. Uh, it, was, it was a good show. And then about those things you just can't buy. Two silver spoons together. Oh my god, so I have the two facts that are like right in top of my head from that one. And that's why I want to say, I want to go back to the facts. I think it was early in 85. I'm going to say it was like 83. I'm not really sure. But this is Silver Spoon's time. Okay, so get this. Um, Silver Spoon's first air date, the first episode air date, was 1982 and I the dad's like uh the guy who the dad's co-worker is like his right hand man I think his name is Jeffrey I'm not sure about the name he in the first episode was not the original guy that was a different guy so after like uh after the second when the second second episode aired uh they had their the guy who went on through the throughout the whole show so that's kind of my second facts but like and they also lived in a mansion on that show the dad was uh he was uh i think it was a toy creator or something like that so he worked for a toy company so like he had a whole bunch of like toys like video games in his house pac-man machines he had a train like they always rode in on the train i don't know it was actually it was actually a really cool show um if you don't know the show from the 80s and you would like to watch it, you can definitely watch it on YouTube. I'm sure you can. Um, so, that is that. Let's see here what our third one is going to be. The third one is going to be um, Give Me a Break. You know, Nail Carter. Give Me a Break. So this show I watch, I vaguely remember, but I don't. I do just love the theme song of the show. Don't know all the words, but I do love it. So here we go. Here we go. Give me a break. Now I know what it is. I'm going to see the one. Oh God, these, I mean, it's kind of pixelated the picture a little bit, but like, it's so funny because she um, was their nanny. And that's where she lived. But she, you know, like sometimes ladies, like, I feel like they have to like abide by a lot of rules. But she was one that made the rules. And like, everybody had to listen to what she had to say in the house. You know what I mean? Like, oh, this, do this, do that. She pretty much did what she wanted. The kids respected her. The dad respected her. Because he was a single dad. And he had, like, I don't know how many kids he had. It was like, I think it was like four kids that lived there. I'm um, in the show um, aired in 19. 1981 and no Carter, she's not alive right now. I think she had um, I think she died of like she had diabetes or something like that and something I think that's what happened but it was really a good show it was funny it was, it was a comedy like TV show back in the 80s and 
it was good. I don't know. I liked it. Um, so if you haven't seen it, check it out. Check it out. Um, the next one is Bosom Buddies. So Bosom Buddies, I'm just going to tell you a couple of facts about this before I start because it's going to let you know. Anyways, there is, it was starring Tom Hanks. You know Tom Hanks from a lot of movies, tons of movies. Um, him, so it was him and this other guy. They, um, obviously were bosom buddies, friends. Um, and they had no place to live and so they wanted to live somewhere pretty, not like they didn't have any place to live, but they wanted to find somewhere pretty cheap. So they knew this woman who lived in a hotel that was for women. So hence they were men, but for them to live there, they had to be women. So they had like two different personalities. They were like guys and then uh, <laughs> guys at night, women by day. So that's how kind of how people knew them. But here's the theme song to it. And this is kind of like a little bit of like uh, a saying about how they got to live in a place here for women. And now look at them, Buffy and Hildegard. They actually dress like women. from the 80s TV shows, it's so different from how it is today. I think that's what I appreciated about more of like the 80s. I feel like it was a little bit more real. I'm not saying that this stuff today isn't, but like I just, I don't know. But like, I like hmm. Don't get me wrong. If you know the song, sing along. Good night. I remember one lady that I just saw in here, she was actually from um, Family Matter. Excuse me, she was um, from, what's up, um? Yeah. Thelma Hopkins, I think, I just saw her name there. That was actually a really good show. I did enjoy it. Like, all of these ones that I picked are, like, my top ten. I These are the shows that I've watched back in the 80s. Um... And I would still watch them today. But the theme songs to older like TV shows are awesome. Because it's actually like a song song to me. You can get into it. And it probably was like an actual song, but like I don't know, I like theme songs. So I gave you the facts from that one before we started the theme song. So this one right here, this is everyone's favorite. I don't care if you were a kid back in the 80s, if you were a kid. In the 90s 2000s you have to have watched this show it's different strokes so different strokes um, I'm gonna play a theme song before I play a theme song I'm just gonna keep going up with my theme and telling you like the facts beforehand um so mr. Drummond he is this rich guy who lives in a, it's like upper New York um, in penthouse and Willis and Arno and he has a daughter Kimberly and you know they're kind of rich too whatever but anyways, Willis and I know they kind of, you know, live in like, I guess it's the projects or something and something happens with their mother. I'm not really sure. And then he ends up adopting them. So, you know, it's, 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 I don't know. I feel like it was more like they didn't really trust him at the beginning of it because they didn't know if he would, they were just, it was like a temporary fix and they were just there for a minute. And plus he was white and they were black. And so they didn't know if it was going to work, but here's the theme song to different strokes for different folks. <laughs> to the beat of this one drum, that might be rap for you, that might be rap for some. They got nothing but different strokes to
Come on, look at him. Get out of the limo. Come on. Oh, yeah, and Dana Plato, she was played Kimberly. She actually died of, um, I think she was trying to rob a, she tried to rob somewhere and like, he was really high or something like that and then she got shot. Or it was drug overdose. I'm not sure. There's two different facts from that one. Um, and I also know that, um, the guy who played Willis in and out of jail and Arnold, um, I forget what year he died, but. And I forget how he did. I think he was in a coma and he died from a coma. So like that whole cast pretty much is like all dead. Yeah. But it was a great show. It really was. Alright, so next one. Tell me you guys remember Webster. He was so cute and so little. Um, kind of like the same story from different strokes. Not not really, but a little bit like I've, they adopted him and you know he was just kind of just into living with his parents which happened to be white um very cute kid and that <laughs> what was that <laughs> wait <laughs> like i don't know it was something <laughs> his laugh was something like that but here is the theme song okay <laughs> These songs just kind of make you want to like start the music. It's not the thing to do. Ooh, ooh, it was you and then came you. This table keeps moving from this kind of moving around like this. I'm like, I don't know if I'm coming and going with the table and I'm like, ah! And then I'm like, sweet, just down. Guys, I'm just a mess and I try to get it together. Then came you. It was you and me. Ah, yes. Just kidding, guys. <laughs> I am being so dramatic. So that was Webster. What year did Webster come out? Oh God, I think I wrote down so. I didn't write it down somewhere. Webster. Again, I don't know. I don't know the year, but I did give you some facts from it. Don't know the year. If you know the year, please drop it down below so that I can know. Otherwise, I can just Google it and find out too, though. So, okay. Uh, next uh, theme song is... Um, so, this is Charles in Charge. And I'm going to just continue to go ahead and do the facts before. So, he actually, okay, first of all, it was, what year was Charles and Charles? Charles and Charles was 1984. That was the, that was the air date. That was when the first episode dropped, 1984. And 1984, he was actually, uh, like, a college, he was in college, and he was the nanny. He was, like, the living nanny. Uh, this, there was a mom and dad, and then they had, like, one, two. I think they have four kids. I don't know. I think it was kind of a little bit of a hot mess, but it worked out for them. You know, he ended up becoming part of the family and his, his friend Buddy, who I think he either lived down the street or something. I know he lived fairly close to them, who was always at the house where he was a nanny for. So here is the theme song to Charles in Charles. In your friend neighborhood, she lives downstairs in this place too. He's the, that's got bail. Yes. We like his one of the fan. All the girls had a crush on him. This dark and mysterious guy. Yes. Look at this family though. Charles in charge of our wrongs and our rights. Eleanor has come in. She, she really likes this song. Charles in charge of me. Is that right, five kids? I should count them. Oh, no, that's his friend, buddy. Charles huh. in charge of our Yay! 
That was actually a good show. And you know, this show actually is on Hulu. So if you haven't watched it from when you were um, from the 80s, if you were in the 80s, 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 you can watch it now on Hulu. So check it out. Okay, guys. So let's see. Where are we now? We are at one of my all-time it's it was one of my all-time favorite shows i okay so i'm gonna tell you the name the name is punky brewster when i was growing up <laughs> i thought i was punky brewster i really really did i like start i dressed exactly like how she dressed when in the show so punky brewster is about this younger girl who was um um so how the show started she was at the grocery store with her mother and her mother ended up leaving her there um leaving her there i think she had a dog or she found a dog she either had the dog or found the dog so she ended up just trying to was looking for someone to stay and she ended up going into this apartment building where this old man lived by himself and then they ended up becoming a family somehow um it's such a good show uh, Punky Brewster, what year was Punky Brewster? Punky Brewster was 1980, 1984 is when it aired. That was the first episode. And here's a theme song, guys. I love this theme song. Maybe the world is blind. Blind. Or just a little unkind. You can be sure, and if you don't want to watch it, you can buy. If you have a kid or something, they would probably love this show. It has all life's lessons in it, too. Most shows do from this era. Be lonely and then one day you're smiling again. Every time I turn around, I see the girl who turns my world around. Standing there every time I turn around, the spirits lifting me right off the ground. What? Oh, it's supposed to be what's gonna be, but this is the remix. I turn around. Mm. Oh, so cute. It's Brandon. What's gonna be? I guess we'll just wait and see. Yeah. You guys, that was probably one of my all-time favorites. All-time favorites. So I'm going to get into uh, one that one that was kind of wild, but everybody loved the show. It was Elf. Elf, what was Elf? Elf was 1986, and it was about this family who end up, end up living with an it was like an it was supposed to be like an alien or something from another era uh but he was actually pretty funny and fit in with the family so he just became part of the family and pretty funny if you ask me and every time company came over he had to hide and i think eventually like people knew about him but like it wasn't a big deal but then there was some people who did but i don't know here's the theme song though all right this show everybody loved it here we go all right <laughs> And this is, he's like, wow, and he's like. <laughs> there he goes, he played it too. Ah, that just the theme song and the theme songs, I feel like, is what makes you want to watch the show. Like when you hear theme songs, you're like, oh my god, I want to watch that show. I want to see if it's good. Nine times out of ten, it is a good show. 
Okay, so I say the best for last, guys. And I say the best for last because I was obsessed with this show. And um, I have literally every DVD, every DVD to the series of the show. So Degrassi Junior High. Degrassi Junior High started back in 19... I don't even have to look, I think. It's 1986 is when it actually started. So a lot of people here, they know like Degrassi, like the next generation, blah, blah, blah. But Degrassi Junior High started... Degrassi started with Degrassi Junior High. Um, started back in 1987. The show, it was kind of like if... Let me see. After It kind of reminded me a lot of about like after school specials because after school specials kind of told you what to do what not to do it just gave you a bit of advice about a lot of different things and so that is why i was like so drawn to the show this show because you know you want to know those life lessons so um yes so degrassi junior high then it was uh degrassi the next generation then it was like degrassi and then it kept going on from there so I have it from the beginning and here is the original theme song. And this is like yeah, the original. Everybody to believe, all you got is to believe. Be honest with yourself, forget your do's and don'ts. Come give us a try. The Grassy Junior. So, guys, that completes my 80s theme song. And Edition. Um, this is not, I guess it doesn't have to be addition, but it is addition because you never know if I'm gonna do anything else and like go to like the 90s and then go to the two, the 200, 200s, 2000s. <laughs> so you just never know. But I hope you guys actually enjoyed that video. Um, if you liked it, please definitely give it a thumbs up. If you don't, you know what you can do. Um, well, give it a thumbs down. But if you like it, I'm hoping that you did like it. So definitely give it a thumbs up if you did. Um, definitely share the video, share my video, share this video, share any of my other videos. If you haven't checked out any of the other videos, definitely check out the other videos. Guys, please hit that subscribe button. Um, all right, guys. Again, um, anything that you like to see me do, please drop a comment down below. Please let me know if anything... Um, I think that's it guys. Uh, thank you very much for spending some time with me this evening and I will get with you guys later.